Leo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-December 2022. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off uh, with the Oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link in the description box below if you want. Oh, let's see Leo. The overall energy for the reading, the Two of Cups. Uh, this is about a particular connection here. There's a whole lot of waiting in your reading, Leo. There's like, I don't see it as expectation. I almost see it like a bubble of waiting. Like now you have to wait in this bubble. Okay. And when the time runs out, pop the bubble bursts and then things happen. Because you don't have to wait anymore. What the hell is this? I don't know. You've been placed in a bubble of weight. Bubble of weight. But anyways, love. One particular connection tied up to your heart. Uh, starting off the reading, the two of wands crossed by the eight of wands. Waiting for communication, waiting for energy exchange waiting for things to move not within the bubble of waiting they're not gonna move have you been in this bubble for a while i don't know i don't know um in your focus here the nine of wands a little bit of resistance almost like i don't want to leave the bubble i'm just I'm, I'm good here i'm good in the waiting bubble I don't think that you are. I think you're bored because uh, I feel like it's been here for a while. Um, but it almost feels like the anticipation aspect of this is that, that if you leave the bubble, then things will happen tied up to this. You're almost scared of things happening tied up to this, you know, in the direction of this rather than the opposite direction. So it's kind of like I'm good in my bubble, cozy here. In the recent past, the Page of Wands, you were all up for whatever happened outside of the bubble. You were open. You were like, okay, I'm ready to get out of the bubble. Uh, but no, you got cozy in the bubble. The freaking bubble. Uh, in your strength, the Three of Wands, you got cozy in waiting. You got very comfortable in waiting. Things want to move, though. It's like something shaking up that bubble. It's like, okay, time to get out. Things are starting to move, or wanting to at least. In the immediate future, the Two of Pentacles, a little bit of almost looking for a way out, uh, but not really wanting to find it, even if it's in front of you sometimes. I don't know what this is. It's You're keeping yourself constrained. You're keeping yourself in a place there, energetically speaking. Keeping yourself steady waiting uh supporting this reading the eight of swords oh well that's why you keep yourself here because you're overthinking things you're in doubt you're in fear you're in all sorts of things that are keeping you stuck in there in the waiting you know indecision all sorts of things go on in there in that eight of swords it's your mind that took control over the situation is keeping you stuck the energy that surrounds you, and you may not uh, be aware of it, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. Things are wanting to change. Things are wanting to move. So you being stuck in here doesn't really help, you know, but uh, things are still moving. Uh, in your hopes and fears, this is the connection. This is that strong connection that we're talking about that's swirling around that bubble, looking for Leo. Where's Leo? Still in there. Mm. Okay. In the potential outcome, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so this is the needle that's going to break the bubble, basically. Um, let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me see the Two of Cups. Page of 
Page of Cups, Queen of Swords, Page of Swords. Mm. I mean, somebody definitely wants to bring in love here. Uh, they seem a little, a little sharp in the, it, it, it almost feels like, okay, I want to bring it now, now, now I'm bringing it in. And it's like, but, but Leo's not there or, you know, no, not now. Yeah, okay, I can come back later. Quite, you know, um, which, I don't know, it seems a little odd because that's, I mean, it is an energy of love. So it's like it, it can't come, you know, at the snap of the fingers there. But uh, according to whoever this is, yeah, yeah, now. Uh, but they are backing down a little bit in this attitude. So it's almost looking like, okay, I got to kind of scan the room and see where Leo's at with this so that I see, you know, are they ready for it now or is it just because I want it now? Um, let me see the two of wands. The high priestess, the eight of wands, the five of swords. You feel, you feel that love swirling around the bubble. You feel it, it's right there. It's right there, making circles around the bubble. <laughs> but you're still like, but I'm cozy here. I'm not going out there. Um, quite deceptive because it's requiring your participation energetically speaking there's an exchange of energy there you know physically you're keeping yourself in that place you're like i'm not responding to it i'm not responding to it i'm not responding to it but doing that is like responding not responding to yourself you know you're keeping yourself stuck i don't know if it's i don't know how far along you're in into a self-imposed kind of an energy or at this point you just got used to it i don't even know let me see the eight of wands eight of pentacles queen of pentacles seven of wands there's a need there's a need for this exchange and i have no idea where it's coming from and it's not even um <clears throat> pointed out from a person as in you have the need for this or they have the need for this there's a need from someplace else there's like a push like okay this is needed now and it's not the person this time around this is a, a little bigger than you may think but whatever this is it's dealing with a stubborn sleepy leo you know stubborn sleepy cat that's like i don't want to wake up for this well you have to you're kind of being budged your bubble is being shaken um i don't know where it's from this energy because again i don't see it directed from a person i see it directed more like almost like from the universe like, okay, this needs to happen with everything, how all of the energies align poof, on your bubble with love. And it's your matching frequency love, you know? Uh, let's do the Nine of Wands in your focus. The Strength card, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands. And love makes you feel good. Look at you. Look at you. You're radi ra ra radiate <laughs> next to it. There's the energy of love, there's you, there's, oh my God, it makes me feel so good. And then there's you and your focus. Um, I'm sleepy, leave me alone. I don't wanna to talk to you. Go away, snooze. You're snoozing love, Leo. Let me see the three of wands in your strength. Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, how you're avoiding this or pushing this to the side could be by, you know what, I'm busy, I'm busy at work, I have so many things to do, like I have that to do, I have that to do, I have that to achieve, I have that to, there's so many things to do. And I do see you busy at work, but you're using that as an excuse. And you're starting to see that. 
but you're still using it as an excuse. Um, <clears throat> you are, I mean, your focus is there and it's good that it's there. It's building up. It's doing great stuff. It also gives you the opportunity to keep on snoozing on that love. Uh, let's do the two of pentacles in the immediate future, the sun, the two of wands, the hierophant. There's, there's too much of a gap, that's the thing. Between you and this connection, whatever this is to you, there's already a gap of time. And then you pressing that button to delay it and delay it and delay it, it adds more. It adds more to the gap. And somehow the universe is like, what the hell is going on here? What the hell is up with the gap? Who's doing that? Leo. No, Leo's sleeping. Leo's not doing that. They're doing it, you know. Because I feel like you're taking turns, too. Now you're doing it. But I feel like when you're not doing it, they're doing it. And it just adds to the gap. Um, in the universe, I don't think it wants for the gap to be there right now. I don't know. I don't know. There seems to be a little bit of confusion. There seems to be a little bit of, you know what? I'm snoozing now. When I'm done snoozing, you you better get on that snooze. Let's do the Eight of Swords. In the supportive energies, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the World card. And something needs to be released. Something that doesn't belong around you anymore. Um, there's something close to home for you. You're done in that cycle. You're, you're done with it. I don't know what it is. Um, but time to go. And you're like, no, I'm not letting this go. It's almost almost like, you know, you need to, to lift the blanket off and get out of bed, basically. I don't want to, uh, no. You're tidying it up more around you instead of kind of putting it aside so that you can get up, you know? So like holding close to you whatever, whatever you need to feel like you're comfortable in there. Um... Let's do the Wheel of Fortune in the energy that you may not see. The Temperance card, the Three of Swords, the Magician. This is something that's meant to come together. So I don't know how long you've been snoozing this for. I don't know how long they've been snoozing. I, I don't even know what the hell is going on here. I do see a big ass manifestation there for this to come together and along the way for the energies to, to to come meet halfway there's a big delay i don't understand this and it's caused it's caused by pain and it's causing more pain you know There's almost like a destined situation to come together and everybody here is just kind of snoozing it. I'm like, whatever. We'll deal with it later. I don't have time for this right now. Let's do the lovers in your hopes and fears. Four of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Wands. The snoozing part here. Snoozing. I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. I'm sleeping. I'm snoozing. So you're still healing here. You're done healing though. For this. For this. To allow for this to, to come together. You got the Queen of Wands at the end of this. You got the Wheel of Fortune again. But the Wheel of Fortune is tied up to the delay, the, the gap of time that's been placed on this in the gap of pain. The more time, the more pain. Let's do the wheel. Uh, wheel. <laughs> I'm stuck on the wheel. Uh, Ace of Wands for the potential outcome. Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, the Moon. Yeah, this is just looking for other ways to keep you snoozing. And I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure if that's you, if that's them. I feel like it doesn't even matter because at some point you take turns. So if it's not you, it's them. But when it's not them, it's you. So same, same freaking thing. Um, it's a perpetual, it's almost like you got stuck in a cycle of snoozing. 
you know? And it needs to be broken. Somebody needs to go in there and slash it into pieces because otherwise you're, you're going to keep on perpetuating it. You're stuck in time. The notion of time. If you were to take that away, you wouldn't have nothing to grab onto here. Interesting. Let's see what the universe has. The temperance card, the chariot, the judgment card. Yeah, yeah, these are universal interferences. Like, okay, don't you think it's news enough? It's time, time to go. Get up and go. Uh, very, very big energies, very big energies that are kind of almost pressuring you, like, okay, 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 get up, you're done, no more snoozing, you're running out of battery on that thing. You know, keep on snoozing until you, your snoozer dies. But no, you're not, you're not, you, you've got, you've got, you've got big ass energies here that try to break that in a good way. Because it feels like it's been um, <laughs> let out of hand, this this time gap, this snoozing. Um, it's kind of like, okay, we've, we've allowed it for too long. It's time for Leo to wake up, you know, to this. And Leo doesn't want to. Leo's like, no, nah, let me look for other ways. <laughs> let me look for other snoozing things, machines, gadgets. I'll find some others. And once I exhaust those, maybe I'll wake up. So I don't know what the hell is going on here. Because at some point it becomes almost like self, like you're doing it consciously, you know, to some extent. Like, yeah, no, I don't want to go out there to this love, God forbid. While I'm manifesting it, no, no. It doesn't make sense for me to go out to something that I'm manifesting, you know? Let me see... Um, what is this? The Spirit Animal Oracle. Let's see what you're getting. With this one to close that off. Ooh. The Crow Spirit. Co-create with Spirit. The Spirit is trying to co-create with you, but you're snoozing. So. Let's see. 17. All right. Crow Spirit wants to know why you think there is no magic in the world. Or do you believe that there once was, but it ran out, leaving nothing but ordinar ordinariness? Although conditions have become challenging, you have no reason to believe that everything you've set an intention for will elude you. Right now, the outer world is shifting. Can you feel it? Maybe you're feeling about... Maybe you're fretting about experiencing the results of some of your poor choices or judgment from the past. Crow Spirit is here to remind you that you can always course correct and get back on track. Maybe you've been hit by a loss or disappointment as a result of an event that had absolutely nothing to do with your manifesting, yet it has shaken you to the core. Crow Spirit asks you to trust that no matter the temporary conditions, things will right themselves very soon. The law of balance makes it inevitable that this too shall pass. So your snoozing will pass. <laughs> Anyways, um, hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.